Hi everybody, welcome. And today we're going to learn a very simple recipe. Everyone can do it. In fact, it's great for meal prepping for the week, or perhaps you're in quarantine because of a massive pandemic and you need a meal prep for lots of weeks. You can do this. It's easy, it's versatile, I love it. It's roasted vegetables. Okay, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So first we're gonna be using some yellow onions. We also have some celery, carrots, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts. So starting with the Brussels sprouts, the first thing I'm gonna do is take one and just chop off the base here and then cut it in half. And that's it, it's very quite simple. Uh, keep going with these. The key to a lot of these roasts is that you're actually going to cut everything relatively the same in size, so it's gonna cook very similar. Brussels sprouts, uh, these are gonna be a little bit thicker than everything else, but it's all gonna be wonderful in the end. I'm gonna go ahead, take a bowl, and then just throw everything into it and keep going. Okay, so once we've gone ahead and chopped up our Brussels sprouts, and we can see that these are actually quite, uh, quite thick. I must have gotten the very large Brussels sprouts <laughs> at the grocery store. But hey, you know, like you, you, you live and you learn. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put some crushed black pepper on these guys. And this is really to taste. I like salt, pepper, olive oil. Those should be your three kind of standards for this. If you wanna add um, some herbs, thyme, rosemary, oregano, go crazy. It's all gonna be good. I'm gonna add a little bit of kosher salt maybe about like half a teaspoon or so. That seems like way too much. I always do that. That's why I get a very big container of salt. Um, and then next I'm going to add some olive oil. Great. Give these guys a little razzle dazzle. Lose some in the process. Then I'm going to take a, uh, just kind of like a, pan cooking sheet, put some aluminum foil down on it if you would like, just kind of helps it from, from sticking to, to the surface, especially these, these pans have used for quite a while. Marinate it around a little bit, and then just go ahead and, and place some cut side down. You want as much surface area kind of touching the aluminum foil. Just make sure that these bottoms have a, a flat surface Perfect, that's gonna turn out just great. We're gonna set these aside. Now for our other veggies. I went ahead and I did most of it, but we're like, like we said, we wanna try and maintain a relative consistency between all the vegetables that we're doing. So I'm not gonna cut this celery too thin, but I am going to, to leave it a little thick. I'm not gonna put the leaves in there. You can save this over for a stock or something if you'd like. Vegetable stock is amazing. Same thing with the, the broccoli. I'm just gonna, I'm really just going to take off these little shoots and that's about it. But you can start to, to cut into it a little bit more. Make it kind of fun for yourself to eat. Broccoli always looks like little trees, doesn't it? Like that just looks like a tree. It's great. Clean surface. Next to carrots, these are pretty small carrots, so I'm actually gonna cut them pretty lengthwise. You can peel these, I just went ahead and washed them pretty thoroughly. Always wash your vegetables, especially in this day and age, you really need to wash your vegetables, even if you are gonna throw them into a hot oven. And while we're doing all of this, I do have the oven preheating. I want it to get to 450. So you're preheating your oven while you're cutting all your vegetables up to about 450 degrees. For the onion, the onion's gonna be a little bit tricky just because it has all of these layers. It's going to separate as it cooks. So just keep that in mind. Keep your, keep your slices big. So I'm just, just gonna do little big old third slices of onion here. Now I've created quite the uh, predicament for me. How am I going to toss this one around? Well, I have two bowls. Have fun with this. I always, you know, one of the ways that I got into cooking was that I, was t I would take a recipe and I would, 
always try and modify something that was in the written recipe. And I encourage everyone to do the same. Don't follow it like it is it's set in stone. It is a living thing just as you are and just as, as you want your food to be, to living for you. So go ahead and, and make, it, make it your own. Change it up, add whatever you want, delete whatever you don't want. Have fun. Because when we start to add creativity, because when we start to add creativity to the meals that we are preparing, we start to make them our own. We start to take ownership. We start to get more excited about it. So even if you're just roasting vegetables, something very, very simple, make it your own. Do your own thing. Don't be prescribed to a specific formula. So I'm looking for a healthy coating of olive oil on these vegetables. I am also, let's see if I can do it again. <laughs> I'm also going to salt them pretty generously and make sure they are peppered generously. I'm not adding any herbs. These are my main seasonings. Again, we're gonna just kind of give them a little toss. Look at that, it went into the other bowl. I don't know if you saw that. That was great. Couldn't have. There we go. The neighbor is power washing. I don't know if that's, <laughs> coming across in the video, but hey, you know, we're all at home and trying to make things work, aren't we? All right, I'm gonna grab my second pan and then now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dump everything into this one, all of them. Spread them out. Make sure that there's enough surface area for the heat to just kind of meander its way around these guys. We're just gonna plop these into our oven. Our oven is preheated to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna let that go for about 20 to 25 minutes. We'll check in on it then. Okay, so it has been about that 25 minute mark. We took a look at it. Let's go ahead and pull them out of the oven. Well, it sounds good and it looks great. Really happy with how this turned out. And I'm basically just gonna put this all into a container, put it into the refrigerator, and then just start adding it to dishes that I'm making throughout the week. Whether that be a pasta salad, or on top of a soup, on top of a salad, or a rice bowl. You could even put this on top of a frozen pizza and just add that extra vegetable component to what you're already eating. I love it, it's super simple. You're just chopping up some vegetables, putting some olive oil, salt, pepper, maybe some herbs, and roasting it in the oven for about 25 minutes. It can't get easier than that, and it really can't get more nutritious than this either. I really hope that you give it a chance, and I also hope that you make it your own. Put some something that you really like into it, kind of add your own flavor into it. That's just the joy of cooking, is to be able to kind of create as you go. So I really enjoy it, I hope you do too. Let me know how it goes. Take care, everybody. Mm -hmm.